now start the main purpose of the united nations is to build up a world without war a world based on the cooperation of nations and peoples it is not merely a world where war is kept in check by a balancing of armed forces it is much deeper than that it is a world from which the major causes of war have been removed and social structures built up which further peaceful cooperation within a nation as well as between nations in the preamble of the constitution of the unesco it is stated that war begins in the minds of men that is essentially true and ultimately it is necessary to bring about the change in our minds and to remove fears and apprehensions hatreds and suspensions disarmament is a part of this process for it will create an atmosphere of cooperation but it is only a step towards our objective a part of the larger efforts to rid the world of war and the causes of war in the present context however disarmament assumes a very special importance for us overriding all other issues for many years past there have been works on disarmament and some progress has undoubtedly been made in so far as the plans and proposals are concerned still we find that the race of armaments continues as also the effects to invent even more powerful engines of destruction even if a small part of these efforts was directed to the search for peace probably the problem of disarmament would have been solved by this time apart from the moral imperative of peace every practical consideration leads us to that conclusion for as everyone knows the choice today in this nuclear age is one of utter annihilation and destruction of civilization or of some way to have peaceful coexistence between nations there is no middle way if war is an abomination and an ultimate crime which has to be avoided we must fashion our minds and policies accordingly there may be risks but the greatest risk is to allow the present dangerous drift to continue in order to achieve peace we have to develop a climate of peace and tolerance and to avoid speech and action which tend to increase fear and hatred and at the present it may not be possible to reach full disarmament in one step though every step would be consolidation and conditioned to that end we live in an age of great revolutionary changes brought about by the advance of science and technology therein lies the hope for the world and also the danger of sudden death because of these advances the time we have the controlling the forces of destruction is strictly limited if within the next 3 or 4 years effective disarmament is not agreed and implemented then all the goodwill in the world will not be able to stop the drift to certain disaster in the context of things as they are today the great nations the united states of america 
एंड द सोवियत रशिया हेल्ड द पीस टू वर्ल्ड एंड पीस देयर्स इज ए ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी बट एवरी कंट्री बिग और स्मॉल इज कंसर्न इन द मैटर ऑफ पीस एंड वॉर एंड देयर फोर एवरी कंट्री मस्ट शोल्डर इट्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड वर्क टू दिस एंड इन ऑर्डर टू डील विद दीज बिग इशूज इफेक्टिवली वी हैव टू टेक बिग एंड इम पर्सनल व्यूज इट इज ओनली द यूनाइटेड नेशंस एज ए होल दैट कैन अल्टीमेटली सॉल्व दीज प्रॉब्लम्स देयर फोर वाइल ऑल एफर्ट्स टूवर्ड्स डिजार्मेंट मस्ट बी वेलकम्ड द यूनाइटेड नेशंस शुड बी क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड विद सच एफर्ट्स द क्वेश्चन ऑफ डिजार्मेंट हैज बीन कंसिडर्ड एट वेरियस लेवल्स there is the question of general disarmament and of the ending of tax explosions of nuclear and therm nuclear weapons so far as the test explosions are concerned considerable progress has been made in the discussions of the committee which has been meeting in geneva indeed it would appear that an agreement has been reached on many basic issues and only a little more effort is needed to complete the agreement i suggest that a final agreement on this subject should be reached as early as possible this is not strictly speaking disarmament but undoubtedly any such agreement will bring a large measures to relief to the world disarmament must include the prohibition of the manufacture storage and use to weapon of mass destruction as well as the progressive limitation of conventional weapons it is admitted that disarmament should take place in such stages as to maintain broadly the balance of armed powers it is only on this basis that success can be achieved and this pervading sense of fear countered it must also be clearly understood that disarmament and a machinery for control must go together and neither of these can be taken up singly and now a proposal has been made that a question of disarmament should be referred to a committee of experts in fact experts have been considering this matter during the past years and we have had the advantage of their views 